12 days to save the planet. The expectations had been high for the Copenhagen summit and the limited ambitions of its final declaration have disappointed many people. However, this focus on the urgency to tackle climate change has allowed all those involved to highlight their contributions. Amongst them, the European Space Agency, present at the summit, recalled its use of satellites to monitor our planet. The objectives of Cryosat-2, ESA's third Earth Explorer mission to be launched, its so-called ICE mission, is to precisely measure the changes in the ice caps, the glaciers and the floating sea ice that cover more than 20% of our planet. ESA's SMOS satellite maps the sea surface salinity and monitors soil moisture on a global scale and its GOCHI satellite measures the Earth's gravity field, allowing a better understanding of ocean currents and ultimately reducing uncertainty in global sea level changes. Cryosat 2 will tell scientists exactly how much fresh water is being produced by the rapidly melting ice caps. From an altitude of just over 700 kilometers on a highly inclined orbit, the 700 kilogram satellite will repeatedly measure with centimeter precision the changes in the thickness of this ice coverage, particularly in the Arctic and on the Antarctic continent. The observations made over the three-year lifetime of the mission will provide conclusive evidence of rates at which polar ice is diminishing. To meet the challenges of measuring ice, Cryosat-2 will carry a sophisticated radar altimeter called CIRAL, Synthetic Aperture Interferometric Radar Altimeter. Developed by Telezelenia Space, it is based on heritage from existing instruments, notably on the Topex Poseidon and Jason ocean altimetry missions, but with several major enhancements designed to overcome the difficulties intrinsic to the precise measurement of rugged ice surfaces. CIRAL will be able to map even the most chaotic ice fields, such as those along the coast of Antarctica, and to determine their topography by combining synthetic aperture radar, SAR, and interferometer modes. Interferometry uses the tiny differences between the waves received by two adjacent antennas to determine the angle from where those waves came and so which part of the icy surface below caused the radar echo. The spacecraft is also an enhanced version of a first satellite that was lost in October 2005 due to a launch failure. Overcoming the great disappointment, ESA decided within four months to replace it. The prime contractor, EADS Astrium, has built Cryosat 2, incorporating many improvements learned during the final testing of its predecessor. The payload, for instance, is fully redundant, reducing the risks of chance failure. Scientists, meteorologists and oceanographers throughout the world are eagerly awaiting the first data from Cryosat 2. It will be providing them with an unprecedented understanding of one of the key variables to improve our knowledge of climate change. And ESA already has other missions which will contribute to better understand our planet. In the space of 10 years, it will be launching more than 20 satellites dedicated to different aspects of Earth observation.